my gosh, this is amazing. All right. Hello. Let's cut the music. Thank you. Hello. I'm pretty sure I'm too tall for this mic, so I'm putting it up. Thank you. Good evening. Oh my god. Thank you all for being here tonight. Oh boy. Okay. I am deeply grateful for this community. Look at you. Oh my gosh. You made this campaign possible. Without your help, your support, your generosity, your hard work, and your friendship, we made this happen. It's because of you that I'm on this stage, excited to be the Democratic nominee for Oregon's third congressional district. While you all have played a very important role in bringing me here today, there are a few people that I need to th thank first and foremost. My husband, Rob. <laughs> that, that's, quite, that's quite a round of applause there. And, <laughs> and our children, Alex and Sophia. Without their support, there's no way I would be here tonight. My team, I am incredibly proud of this team. Some have been with me for years. Some have just joined us on this journey. I couldn't have done this without you. And I'm so humbled to have had you on this crazy adventure with me. Oh. Every time. <laughs> Our volunteers, you took time out of your lives to knock on doors in the rain and the sun last weekend. <laughs> you made endless phone calls, texted voters about our vision, our values, and why it matters. And our house party hosts, I was told we had more house parties than some people had ever seen, thank you. <laughs> you welcomed me and members of our community into your homes. At a time when politics wanted to divide us, you helped bring people together. You set an example of how to build true community. Thank you. <laughs> Congressman Earl Blumenauer. Absolutely. Thank you for your decades of service to our community and our country. You've shown what that you can be an unwavering progressive while still working with others to protect public lands, improve our infrastructure, and stick up for working families. <laughs> and finally, my opponents. It isn't easy to put yourself out there. You each ran hard fought races. Our democracy is stronger when we hear from different people with different perspectives. Thank each of you for putting yourself out there. I look forward to working with you all in the months and years to come. All right, tonight we stand united, united in our belief that this is a make or break moment to protect our democracy to build safe and secure communities that treat everyone with respect. We have to tackle our climate crisis, restore access to abortion care, and build an economy that truly works for everyone. It's gonna take us working together at every level of government to ensure people can afford housing in the community of their choice, that they can access mental health and addiction services within a comprehensive universal healthcare system that's affordable. Yeah. 
we do not have a moment to waste. And what is most prominent on my mind this moment, aside from you all? Our pressing need to stand together, united against a very clear and present danger to our democracy. Yes. Nationally, this isn't just your typical election, Democrats versus Republicans. This is about preserving free and fair elections, about condemning threats of political violence, and standing up for our American democracy. <laughs> Oregonians deserve better than what we've been getting from this Republican-led Congress. I entered this race because as a doctor, I've worked with the most vulnerable among us, and I know there's not a moment to waste. They need our help. In Congress, I will listen, I will work with others, and we will find a path forward that gets results. But we aren't gonna make progress on the, on the fight to codify abortion rights or safeguard our lands or protect our community from gun violence if we don't have a strong democracy. If we want to make housing affordable and expand access to healthcare, our first priority must be preserving a democracy where everyone has a voice. We cannot let the politics of hate and fear divide us. That is what mega extremism is counting on. Only by unifying our voices can we defend our de democracy, all of us. Democrats, independents, Republicans who love this country, who believe it's worth fighting for, we must work together to safeguard the future of our nation. Yeah. All right, so tonight, I'm not gonna leave you with a victory speech, but with a mission. Join me in doing everything that we can to reelect President Biden and Vice President Harris. Oh, absolutely. Put Democrats back in the majority in the House. And come together to defeat the very real threat to our democracy that we face. People throughout this community and throughout our country are counting on our success. Again, thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Yeah. All right, now let us celebrate and enjoy now because tomorrow we are gonna get back to work. Thank you.